Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you may be. Uh, CC here, Chris, from New York, uh, Westchester County. It's uh, April 26th, uh, 2019. And uh, a couple things I want to discuss with you. Real quick. Start off with just answering some of the comments that I noticed on my last video. Um, people say that I, I should take my uh, focus off of flat Earth and, and maybe start making videos of other things so I can get more subs. And you know, I, I appreciate the comments, but that's not what my channel is all about. Obviously, you haven't seen my videos from the past. Because the whole point of this channel was to show people what a real person his reaction is to the situation that we're in. And that situation would be flat earth. The lies that we all have to go, to go through. The way it changes you personally. You, your family, and everybody around you that you speak to. You want to tell every single person about the lie. Everybody. Your teachers, you want to go back to your professors. I, I, don't, want to, I don't want to be a ball buster and, and go back to my professor and say, you're an asshole for teaching shit that's completely irrelevant to what we should be learning because it's all a lie, especially my science teacher. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to yell and scream about that. I'm going to yell and scream to him at the fact that he doesn't realize that the earth is flat. And then we live under a dome here. There quite possibly could be more land. I don't know. I don't know. It's all speculation. Till we get down there. It's like, oh, if we get down there, we're going to fall off the cliff. <laughs> you idiot. There are ice walls that are surrounding us. The Antarctic is all around you. Go either way in the ocean. You'll hit one of the ice walls. I guarantee you. Anyway, look, it's, this is old stuff. This is old stuff. Maybe I should do that to get more subs. Maybe I should take my camera go into the woods and videotape some squirrels humping each other or something, you know? I don't, that, might be, that might get me 100,000 subs, right? No, it's not about that. I want you to see how a channel evolves from nothing to the amount of subs that I have right now, which I think I should have more anyway, but still, it doesn't make a difference. It's to be expected, all right? I'm not doing anything fancy. I'm not doing anything with gyroscopes and, and, and running around yelling and screaming at people. It's just you and me. And sometimes I do go up to people, but I don't do it a lot. Maybe I should do it more. But I, I'm just not that, I don't have that type of personality. Because everybody I've spoken to doesn't, uh, it, it disagrees with pretty much everything I say the minute I bring up Flat Earth. You know? And I've tried different approaches. You know, I've tried NASA. I've tried, I tried airplanes, you know? The fuel in airplanes. I'm not saying that they're not equipped with fuel, but they're sure not flying around with all the fuel that they're using. That's air that they're using up there. It's compressed air. Anyway, look, I mean, I've covered all this on, on most of my videos. I know my channel's a mess. you got to go through most of it, but, you know, look at this. This guy pick a lane, you know? Don't worry about it. There's no car here. I guess I'm invisible. The helium balloon experiment. Okay, I've read a couple of the comments on there about that. And the whole point of the helium balloon experiment is to show people that there is no revolution of, of Earth. You, you live on a flat plane here, all right? There's nothing moving around us. If there were spinning, first off, how would the planes get to California from here? They'd have to travel double the speed in order to get to California. Because you're going against the spin of Earth. I mean, it's so obvious that there's no spin. Nothing. You're not moving. Okay? I mean, come on. See, every... There's like, I think 10% of my friends get seasick if the boat starts moving around too much. I mean, it's just so obvious that nothing's going on. That you're not moving. You're stationary. Nothing's moving. Look at the way the butterflies go fly around. Look at the delicate little mosquitoes flying in the sky. Come on. It, it just, look. It, it, and then gravity. Gravity, this this magical 
uh, magic trick that no scientist ever has been able to describe except in some 500 page book that Einstein made up that you can't even find <laughs> at all on the internet anymore because it's all bullshit. It's all mathematical computations. None of us are ever going to understand because that's what they do. That's what scientists do. That's what they love to do. They give you those numbers. They give you the computations and then you just roll your eyes back and just say, uh-huh, yes, yes. Now I understand how gravity works. Awesome. Thank you, professor. We're clearing that up. Now that's the point of the, of the balloon experiment. To show you nothing's moving. That if I, I'm, I let these things go, and I understand they're small, they're very difficult to see, but what I'm going to put on the balloon is my, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'm not, not going to put my phone number, because I don't want everybody calling me up. Uh, I'll probably put on the sheet of paper my email address or my YouTube channel. Okay? So, and I'll kindly say on, on the thing, on the sheet of paper that if can you please tell me what coordinates you're located at where you receive this balloon and I guarantee you all of them are going to be in the state of New York all of them when they shouldn't be they should be far from New York even if they're up there for six and a half hours do the mathematical computations if the thing is traveling at 30 40 50 miles per hour how fast it should be moving because it should, we're spinning at a thousand miles per hour and then the revolution should bring China up so it should land in a different country or at least in the middle of the Atlantic or in the middle of the Pacific Ocean but it doesn't it lands in the same state that you let these balloons go that's the whole point I'm gonna use my, I'm gonna you know use my friends to see maybe if they can see the balloons but I doubt fully they're gonna be able to um, but we'll see you know we'll see I really wanted to do 99 balloons for that song, 99 Red Balloons. I used to love that song. Uh, now that I know everyone's sold out in Hollywood and they're all freak shows and we don't even know which one's male or female and <laughs> who's got a ding done. That's nice, isn't it? Really great, guys. I mean, that you find out and then people come back at you and say, oh, well, then Flat Earth is bullshit. All right, well, then Hollywood's real then, right? All those satanic shit that they wear to these Hollywood global whatever nonsense that they do. I mean, come on. The devil worshippers, satanic devil worshippers are what Hollywood is all about. They've sold their soul, okay? And you understand what that means, all right? They're, they're controlled now. All of them. All of them are. You know what I mean. You know what I'm talking about. You've seen it. Look at Britney Spears. Oh, how's she doing these days? She looks great, doesn't she? She looks like she's having a great time. Well, she did at one point when she was a child actor and she was, well, whatever, child singer, and she was the most popular person in Walt Disney. You know, now look at her. She's a freaking freak show. Deer antlers, look for that. That is sacrifice with these satanic people. That's what that is. Something, something's going to happen to her. I don't know what. Maybe like what happened to Nicole Simpson. Who knows? I don't know how the fuck I get into these things. I really don't. Forget it. I, I'm not going to talk about Hollywood. I want to discuss uh, Mud Flood because I was, I, got, I was cut off yesterday with the uh, memory on my phone, but I cleared up some memory, so everything's fine. All right. So where I left off, I went to Monticello um, uh, the other day. And I was noticing the mountain structures. Now, I go to the Catskills a lot. And uh, I notice the mountains over there. They look so much different in, in Monticello, which is only like an hour or two away from the Catskill region. It's almost like I was in a different country, in a way. And I mean with the slate rocks, all right? I don't know what kind of... I'm not, I'm not a... Uh, I don't know what they call it. Some people knows about rocks. I forget what the name is off the top of my head. Or, well, archaeology. I don't know. Whatever, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. Um, they just look so different. All right. Now, a lot of people that I've spoken to speak about that these mountains could be tree trunks or something like that from giant trees. And yeah, I, I believe, you know, hey, look, I, I don't know. I'm not saying every mountain is, you know, there could look at Devil's Tower. Tell me that that does not look like a tree trunk. I mean, it's got tree trunk written all over it. I mean, you could actually almost make out the roots and the petrified... Look at the petrified forest in California, you know, with the trees there. You see the way they have been frozen in time. It looks exactly like Devil's Tower. 
What that's all about, I, I don't know. I mean, I could go back and, and, and talk about chapters with Devil's Tower, but I've never been there. I've never seen it for myself. I've seen drones that go up to the top of it and, and flown around, and, and I'll tell you, it really does look like somebody chopped that thing off, you know? But my, my question is with, with Mud Flood, you know, where, where, are the, where are the tools? You know, where are the cars? Where, 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 where is all the evidence of pre-existing civilizations? All right, and I believe that they are. That, that some of these buildings in the city definitely seem like there is something going on there. You know, where there had to have been some sort of flood because the architectural engineering of these windows are, are, are a foot off the ground. It doesn't make any sense. They wouldn't build such a beautiful building like this out of the city for millions and millions of dollars and screw up with the windows, okay, and have them only come up once. That's why what I want to do is I want to conduct that experiment and go down there and see what's underneath these buildings. Whether they'll let me or not, I don't know. I have no idea, you know. I mean, I brought up the mole people. They're, they're the people to know. Oh, you know what? Somebody um, somebody emailed me the other day. Uh, there's a YouTube channel out there. I forget what the, the name of it is. Um, off the top of my head. Sorry, guys. Uh, but he comments often on, on my video. He commented on a couple of videos of mine. And he claims that he works with the bridges in the city and, and all that. That's somebody I'm probably definitely going to interview and, and do a live show with, you know, or whatever they don't speak to on the phone and get his take on it because all of this is something we can investigate here you know flat earth is is the ultimate all right but it's very difficult to prove it sure we can go down to the uh beach carry a p1000 or a 900 and zoom in on the boat it's not enough for people it doesn't work for some reason it's not enough you know i i mean it did for for my significant other there she woke up she had a spark a spark an intuition you know, but it, it's not enough for her, and it's not enough for most people, you know, because they can always come back and say, oh, it's a, the reflection, it's a mirage, just like that idiot freaking weatherman said, when we zoom in on something that's 50 or 100 miles away, we see it perfectly, what you're seeing is a mirage. No, asshole, what you're seeing is the proof flat earth exists, that there is no curvature. That's what you're seeing. Sometimes you just want to go up to these, oh, man, ah. It's all right. It's fine. You know, I, I, I don't care. I'm not going to argue with people about Flat Earth, okay? I'm here to tell you to share what I know, my knowledge, my research, all right? And that's it. You know, I'm not going to write a book for you, you, you know? you got to do your research on this and find new things I haven't found. I haven't done everything. You can't. Where does one find the time? I'm in a car working and I'm doing videos. You know, it's like, that's how much time I have. When I get home, I like to devote it to my family. One thing I've noticed about kids growing up, if you miss those crucial years in the beginning, you've lost almost all trust with them for some reason. Sorry, I had the radio on the whole time. Damn it. Probably going to get a strike for that. Um, you're you're going to, I don't know. That's what I believe. I've seen, I've seen it with other fathers where they neglected their kids when they were younger. And I'm trying to do everything I can to give my daughter as much attention as I can for her. You know, so I don't lose that respect with her. And that's the most important part, I believe. So anyway, that's I, that personal stuff. I know you guys already know that stuff. But I, I just wanted to re reiterate on that with, with, with Mud Flood. Um, I'm going to get more detail with it. I know I said I was going to do some chapters on it, stuff like that, and I, I am, you know. Uh, but it's just an ongoing process, just like Flat Earth was. I mean, it took me a year to go through Flat Earth before to get enough balls to come up and put myself out there and scream out, Flat Earth! The Earth is flat! Stationary. Not moving. The stars don't exist. They are no planets. There is a dome above you. How far it goes, how far up it is, I don't know. I don't know. Read the good book. It tells you a lot of stuff in there. Many verses say flat earth. Many verses talk about a dome. Creator knows. I thank you for subbing. I thank you for viewing my videos. And uh, let me be a part of your life.